Hi everybody, Rich Formadoni from Korg. We're here in the Korg studio and I've got a Chaos Later Pro. There are tons of great sounds in the Chaos Later Pro, ranging from basses to synthesizers to chords to drum sounds to, uh, to preset loops to get you started. So it's really easy to get going and get inspired and it's even easier to record. And once we're done I'll show you how to save your work. So let's check it out. Okay, before we make a loop, let's take a quick little guided tour around the Chaos Later Pro and uh, show you how to get to some of the cooler sounds. Now you can see on the display here it says L000. There are 200 different programs in the Chaos Later Pro and they span different categories. So L is for leads. And I can scroll through using the program or BPM knob and on the uh, XY pad it gives me the title of the actual sound that I'm playing. And if I want more than a one octave range, I can hold down shift and press the scale button. Here it says one octave. I can shift that to two, three, four, or full, which in some cases will mean an entire eight octaves. I can also change the actual scale that I'm playing with. So here we're in Dorian. We can switch to Phrygian, Lydian modes, uh, Ionian, uh, chromatic, or you can even turn the scale function off. So you get a much more analog feeling response that way. And if you uh, shift it from full down to one octave, you can play some uh, microtonal sounds between the notes. So lots of interesting flexibility there. And uh, you can also change the key that you're in. Just press the key button and you can go an octave up or an octave down. So there's some great lead sounds in here and the next category over is acoustic. So there's a vibraphone. The trumpet is here from the original Chaos Later. And there's all kinds of other cool stuff. The piano is still there. There's some very cool sounds. Here's a uh, distorted guitar. And the next category over is B for basses. And there's a huge selection of basses and also C's for chords. And there's a really, really great selection of those. And you can hear that some of them switch from a major chord to a minor chord. And you can modify the actual uh, uh, key that the chord is playing just by moving left or right. Or if you want an easier way to zoom in on a key rather than trying to find it on the uh, XY pad, you can just choose the actual key that you're looking for and then touch either the left or the right side of the XY pad. Down here on the bottom are the four loop recorder bank buttons. This is where we're going to start building our loops. So each one of these buttons is actually like a complete chaosolator unto itself. So that means that each one of these buttons can actually store an unlimited amount of loop data. So you can record layer after layer just on one of these buttons and I'll show you what I mean. All you have to do is hold down one of the loop recorder bank buttons and then touch the XY pad to start recording. So, I'm going to do that. I've selected a rhythmic pattern here. So, what I'm going to do is hold down this first button and keeping my finger on the pad there, record 16 beats worth of this rhythm. So now the rhythm has been recorded, and the great thing is I can just loop over top of that and keep overdubbing different layers. So I can find a new sound as that loop is playing, and just by holding down the button again, I can record over top of it. So let's pretend I didn't even stop it and just start it right back up, and I'll add a couple more layers onto this loop.
All right, so that first loop is now pretty strong. We've got a lot of different layers on there. Uh, what I'd like to do now is show you how to uh, build a continually evolving electronic performance using the other four loop banks. So while this loop is still playing, you can be searching for another sound and practice with it, and you're ready to record, just hold down a different loop bank. So watch this. Now let's say it's time to save our masterpiece. You can do so using an SD card, just like this one. Before you use an SD card in your Chaos Later Pro, you have to make sure that it's formatted. So if you hold down the shift and press button number one, which says card just on top of it, you can actually choose to format it right here. So you can get some info about the card, calculate the free space, or format. And to do that, you push the program slash BPM knob down, select yes, and then press the button again. I'm going to cancel by pressing the shift button because I've already formatted the card. Now, to save it, all you need to do is press the shift button, sorry, hold down the shift button and press button number three. So now you can select using the program slash BPM knob if you want to save loop A, loop B, or C and D if you've got anything recorded in either of those, all the program memory buttons, the global settings, or all data all at once. We're just going to save what's in loop A right now. So we uh, press the program and BPM knob button down. And now you can dial in a location. And you can see that uh, there are a hundred different locations that you can save to. And some of them have this little bracket around them. That means I've already saved something to that location. When there are dashes around the number, that means the location is empty. So let's push the button again once we select an empty one. Are we, are we sure? Yes, we are. Press it again. And right there, it's actually saving the loop. And this is the longest it will take to save one of these loops because it's a full 16 beats. Now you can do the same thing again to save loop B and save all your global data and your program memory settings as well. In addition to saving your loops on the SD card, you can also save them using the editor software. So all you need to do is download that from the Korg website, plug in with USB, make sure you also install the USB MIDI driver, by the way. And then you can use the editor to actually export the loops as uh, WAV files. So that's very convenient because you can then bring them into your recording software and treat them as part of the song. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.